Hi, and welcome to the New Wave Traders YouTube channel. My name is Shalar, and I'm a full-time LA Wave Trader in the crypto market since 2017. In this video, we're going to be diving into three of the most common mistakes that new traders make when trying to learn Elliott Wave and the number one mistake to avoid when learning to trade Elliott Wave. All right, so mistake number one that new traders make when they're trying to learn Elliott Wave is that they start charting and practicing their counting on current price. Um, it makes it really hard to be accurate with this, let alone get familiar with what the wave structures actually look like because it's like trying to read a sentence without it being completed or without even knowing what the letters understanding letters. So with that being the case, the best way to master Elliott wave starting out and accelerate the learning curve to it is to start out back where price has already completed a wave structure. And therefore there's no argument as to what it is, whether it's a three wave structure or a five wave structure. One is really don't start charting over here on real price in the most current price. Start with something that's already been completed. Number two is that we start most traders start in too small of a time frame and therefore they don't know what their larger count is i call it the microverse and it's where traders get lost the most they get sucked into that black hole and so when you're first starting out you want to go off of a broader count at least four hours would be a good time frame to go off of and start your counting before going in and diving in and again don't start over here with most recent price like this structure you want to start inwards at least somewhere over here would be a better place to do your counting and actually get familiar with what the wave structures are with this asset. And then third, the last one that I see new traders make is that they go in between assets or even industries. So in other words, they take Elliott Wave, they go on a smaller time frame, and then they try and chart most recent price action right here. And they say it's a three wave and it's going to go down. And then they switch over and then they go over to another asset and they trade like an altcoin or they do uh, Forex or stocks. And the reality is that every market, although the same rules apply, they're slightly different in their personality. And so seeing the same wave structure inside of Bitcoin, for example, versus Forex versus Starks are different beasts to deal with. So it's best to stick with just one asset at first and get familiar with it. And so to summarize those three things, the best way to master Elliott Wave is to one, Start off in a higher time frame, okay? Go to where price has already been completed, like this. Then get your larger time frame count, okay? You, you're gonna get lost in the smaller time frames if you don't know where the bigger picture is. So you wanna know where the bigger picture is so that you can see where the bigger pivot points are at. In other words, you wanna be prepared for this sort of a pivot for this move here. If you're on a one hour time frame, it's gonna be really hard to see the potential move of thousands of dollars or of something of that size. If you're down here on the one, one hour, you're gonna be looking for a move that maybe does a one-to-one -one extension of this leg here. Um, or you're gonna be looking for, you know, just a generic ABC and then a one-to-one -one extension. You're not gonna see all of this up here that's gonna be going on. So you don't want to get stuck in the smaller time frames until you know what your larger count is. Once you know your larger count, then you can go into the smaller time frames. And again, get familiar with price action that has already wave structures that's already filled out okay so you know what they are there's no argument as to what type of a wave structure it is and you can go from there once you have that down and you've gotten really familiar with that now you can go and actually chart on real price and the reason for that is because now you have an understanding of what wave structures can form so you can start to get creative with it. You can say, well, this could be a three wave. This could be a leading diagonal. Okay. It could be a, we could get a flat correction here, zigzag, and then do another extension to the upside that. Okay. So now you can start to actually project it out because you understand it and you understand the wave structures that are forming and what its personality type is like, what, what, structures it does do so those are the three most common things that new traders make when it comes to elliott wave and i really hope that that kind of saves you a lot of time if you stick to that remember stick to your highest time frames then zoom in stick to price that's already filled out okay stay away from the most current price and stay away from trying to project until you're familiar with the actual wave structures and the personality of that asset thanks for joining in you guys and i will see you for the next video